Hello. Just now try to see that if we know one trigonometric function, then can we find the values for all others? Let's take an example. Let us say we are given that sine theta equals to 3 over 5. I'm taking a very, very simple value. Uh, you know, so that the idea is to teach you the method, right, and not waste time on complicated numbers. Now, if sine theta is given to us by 3 as equal to 3 over 5, then what we can do is we can make a triangle, right, the right angle triangle. Now, sine theta means what? Sine theta means that if this angle is theta, then opposite side is 3 and hypotenuse is 5. Correct. If my hypotenuse is 5 and 3 is my opposite side in this right angle triangle, then what should be this side? We can calculate that out, right? How? Pythagorean theorem, right? So this side is 5 square minus 3 square square root. Is it okay? Now, how much is this? 5 square is 25, so we get 25 minus 3 square is 9 square root, right? Oh, which gives us uh, 25 minus 9 is 16, correct? Square root and which gives us a value which is 4, correct? Therefore, this side is 4 for us. Okay, so let me write 4. Let me write in this color itself showing that this is a calculated value. Is it okay? So, now we have a right angle triangle with all three sides given. Now, once we have this, then we can find what is cos theta. So, cos theta should be 4 over 5. Is that okay? And how about tan theta? Tan theta is 3 over 4. And how about their reciprocals? So, reciprocal of sine is cosecant, right? So, we write cosecant. We can write here. Cosecant is 5 over 3. Is that okay? How? Cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite, 5 over 3, or reciprocal of sine theta. Reciprocal of cos is what? Secant, S-E-C, theta. We should write theta, okay? Never forget that. Is This is cos, 4 over 5. So reverse is 5 over 4. So we get 5 over 4. And cotangent theta is 4 over 3, correct? That is the reciprocal of this. So therefore you see that if we are given one angle, we can find all the rest. Do you see that? It's very, very easy. Okay. Not only that, if you use your calculator, then you can even find theta. And for that, we use inverse function. On There is an inverse function on the calculator. So normally it is in the second function. So if I press second of sine inverse, and within bracket, if I write 3 divided by 5 and say equal to, it will give me angle. It gives me 36.869. So what I'm trying to say here is, when we say that sine theta, let me write here. Let's say sine theta is equal to 3 over 5. Then what is theta equals to? We can find theta is sine inverse of 3 over 5. And using calculator, we can calculate this value. It comes to 36.8698 degrees. Do you see that? So we can find the angle. We can also find, once we find the angle, then we can find the other values also. For example, now we can say cos of this angle, right? To say cos of this is equal to, it gives answer 4 over 5. So we get the same answer as 4 over 5. So this other method was that given the angle, we can find uh, given sine of a sine function, value of sine function, we can find the angle. And from the angle, we can find rest of the things. Okay. Calculators don't really give you functions to calculate cosecant, secant, and cotangent directly. For them, we have to always find reciprocal of their functions, right? So that's reciprocal identity is a very fundamental identity which is so many times used, okay? I hope you appreciate the method and you, you're getting started with trigonometry now.
Okay, try to remember all the terms. Sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant and cotangent of an angle. Normally, we use the word theta for the angle, right? It could be anything, alpha, beta, gamma, A, B, C, as you wish. Thank you.